Do you need help getting started cutting felt flowers by hand? Let me help you out today. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because we are coming out with felt flower videos every week. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get started in hand cutting some felt flowers is felt. I have a whole nother video on how to pick the right felt for you, but today we're using a wool blend felt. So I've got a bunch of different scraps here and these are just a few tips and tricks that we can use. I've got a bunch of felt scraps here and this is just a, a fun little easy way to get started to stop overthinking how to hand cut some shapes out without getting overwhelmed. One thing about hand cutting felt flowers is you definitely want consistency. While felt flower petals can all vary very dramatically and it looks really nice, you definitely want the same general size. You don't want a one inch flower petal next to a two inch flower petal and then you're just sitting there wasting felt and you're wasting petals because you're just not quite getting them the same size. So an easy way to get started doing that, so I have a ruler here and I like to cut out specific squares. So I have my rotary blade here and let's say we want two inch flower petals. The best way to do that is go ahead and cut two inch squares. This is definitely going to help you keep everything uniform in the same. So we want to do, let's just cut a very, very simple flower petal. So I'm doing two inches by 175 here. And so what you can do is easily cut out a bunch of squares at the same size. And this is also really great if you're, you know, traveling a lot, picking the kids up from school, you can sit there and prep all of your squares. This is exactly what I used to do. And I would prep all my hand cutting and then throw it in a little bucket or a bag and then go sit in the school pickup zone. And as I'm waiting for the kids to come out and sit there and just hand cut or hand cut at the soccer practices and baseball practices. And it just kind of gave me something to do while I was just sitting watching the kids. So now we have our squares. The next thing you're gonna need is a good pair of scissors. I like to have small scissors. This gives you fine little detail cuts and one pair of large scissors. And these are just a long shear so that you can get a really nice cut all the way around as you're hand cutting. So the reason why I like cutting squares is so that when you kind of come up with a design, say it's just this like heart shaped petal right here, is that now you have this and now you can go over and follow that same the same lines of your box that you created and get roughly the same size. I mean, they are not perfect, they are not the same, and that's what gives it the uniqueness of hand cutting is when they're not all perfect, but they are generally the same size. You could also go ahead and take another one of your petals that you've created and use that as a template. Another great thing about felt is felt sticks to felt really well. I mean, it's not on there, but it's not sliding off really easy either. So you can easily just throw a petal that you like and then follow that as your pattern. You could also save this as your pattern for future use as well. So you just always are like, I really liked it when I made that flower and this is now your pattern. So now you've got three petals that you can start making flowers with. So now we're gonna make a different kind of petal here. So an easy way is we're gonna cut a square. I am just guessing here. I just simply squared off this piece. So now we're gonna make this into a circle. And I'm just rounding the corners here and cutting a square first and then making your circle definitely helps make it more uniform around. I mean, this is not perfect, but it's way closer than you just grabbing, say, a bigger piece of felt and just trying to make a circle. Sometimes that doesn't always go to plan and then you're fixing it and fixing it and taking off more and more. So this one will make a six petal, a six petal? base I guess, flower, I guess, or six petal petal. <laughs> so what I like to do here, fold it in half to square it up here and then go in, you know, as far as you want. But let's say I'm going in, actually, let's go in almost all of it. And then we're gonna fold it here and then I'll just cut it in thirds again. And now you have little snips all the way around. So now that you have a guideline, you can go right in the middle of your petal and just round off your corner here and go all the way around and make beautiful shapes while hand cutting. So I did all the way around on one side and then I'll flip it 
And then I'll round this over like so. And now you have a flower shape that you can use and you just hand cut that very easily and all your petals are roughly the same size and you can just keep it all uniform and whatnot. So now this would make a good little like bunch here or you can throw a little felt ball and just kind of pinch them up, make like a little forget me not. So many possibilities on what to do with just very, very simple shapes. So another really great way to hand cut is leaves. So we are gonna go, oh, we have green. So we can just cut rectangles here and then do the same thing with our long scissors. I like to go right from the middle, right up to close to the edge and then come back down for a leaf shape. And then this will keep all your leaves really closely the same because you're just following the guides of the rectangles and shapes and base pieces that you're creating. And if you see, like we are doing very, very little waste here. So I know that always intimidated me when I started hand cutting, I wanted to make sure that there was like no waste of my felt. But in reality, if you look at my scraps right here, this is like nothing here. So it's definitely a great way to really optimize and use all of your felt. Cause I mean, felt, it adds up when you start a gigantic collection of it. So now you have beautiful leaf shapes and then again, you can kind of come in here and then give them a little bit of dimension with your little scissors, cut little snips in here and just roll it and take your time and just make really unique, just make really unique and custom looking leaves without having to buy all the equipment and all the dyes and a, you know, a digital cutting machine. This way you can just do it very, very easily all on your own. And then again, you can save, if you make a leaf or a flower petal that you really, really like, I suggest either saving that felt leaf or we'll go ahead and make a template. So a great easy way to make templates, this is just a piece of cardstock. Just go ahead and trace your leaf on. And then what I like to do is take notes. And then I'll take notes that I used a, what is it, a two inch by an inch and a quarter. So this is two inch by an inch and a quarter. And then what I'll do is I'll cut this out and utilize this as my stencil. So now we have that leaf shape and I can simply just add this onto my felt, hold it as I go and then cut the same shape over and over and over again, like so. So moving on, getting a little bit more technical, you can end up basically drawing a bunch of your leaf templates onto one piece of paper. Then you can photocopy it onto freezer paper and then use these as stencils. So just a bunch of different ways on how you can create your own flower petals, keep consistent while also hand cutting. If you want more information about freezer paper, go check out my other freezer paper video on how to print and go ahead and apply them to your felt for stencils. Simply all you would do is you would take your leaf, trace, 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 and then just photocopy it onto your freezer paper. Another easy way to do this is grab, let's grab a lighter color here. I'm taking just a felt tip pen here and we can go ahead and draw a shape on here. Say it's just, you know, pretty crazy or we just want this pattern on here. Felt tip pens work great on here and you can use this to just cut around that. Another thing you could use is a pencil. So you can just take a regular pencil and you can literally just trace your flower petal on here. Or if you just have a vision in your mind, you can go ahead and use that on here. When you're doing these, make sure you're cutting inside your black line because you will see it in your cut mark if you don't go right inside of that. So keep that in mind. Another way to get around that though is to snag a heat erasable pin. So this, it does take a little bit of effort. You do need to put a little pressure on the felt because you are coloring on fabric, but you can use this 
to make your shape. And then after you're done cutting it out, you have those black lines. You just take a little bit of heat from an iron or I'm using a hair straightener here and it just erases it easily for you. And that gives you a little, a little wiggle room in case you go out of the lines a little bit. Another really, really great option on hand cutting. All right guys, real quick, any of the tools that I'm using today, they're below linked in the description. Another thing that I hand cut constantly is my flower centers. Oh, let's use a pink center. So this will be my pink center right here. There's a few different ways that we can make a flower center. So one way we'll just make a little strip here. This is, you know, an inch by however long you need it, really. You can take your little snips here and just snip it you know, as deeply as you want. Just don't go all the way through. And this can be its own flower or it can just be a flower center. And these are all just hand cut really, really easy. And then you simply just roll it. You could just make this into a flower or this makes a great little center to add your leaf. Another way to do it is you still take the same strip here, throw a little glue down the middle, fold it in half. and then snip it on the kind of the bubbly rolled side here and then go you know not all the way down again you don't want to hit that glue you do not want to hit that glue line and you don't want to go all the way through so we're just making lots of snips here and then we'll roll this and it also makes either a beautiful little flower bud, accent flower, anything like that, or a perfect flower center. So there you go. And it's just, it's completely a different look than this one, but it was the exact same amount of felt that I used, and it's just slightly different and a completely different look. You can grab your petal here, and I'm just gonna, just for fun, glue this on here, do a little pinch. And I'll do all three to finish a whole flower for you. It's only going to be three petals, but that's okay. Oops. I did not let my glue set there fast enough. I'm in a hurry. Anyways, like so. Really, really quick simple hand cut flower that you can use and put anywhere. Uh, you can obviously get way more advanced, start practicing, start grabbing flowers out in nature, yank the petals off, tray some, and then create your own stencils and you can go nuts. But this is a great baseline to go ahead and get started with hand cutting. Biggest tip, make sure you make your little squares, make your guides, and then just go for it. Don't let hand cutting scare you and it's the best and easiest way to start and get your feet wet with felt flowers without having to invest in everything that they have to offer, which is quite a bit. And once you get your feet wet, trust me, you will start buying all the goodies and gadgets to make your life easier when making beautiful felt flowers for your home and family and friends. All right, I hope this video was super helpful to you. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, be sure to add them into the comments below and I will definitely answer them. Or if you have tips, you can definitely help other people that are just getting into hand cutting felt for flowers and let me know which tip you loved the most. All right, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell because videos are coming out weekly. And also check out my shop. I've got lots of different felt flower kits that come with all the materials and supplies you need so that you can get started on felt flower making at home maybe a little bit easier. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time.